Hi, dear friends. Welcome to the CSS Learners Academy. After a long time, indeed. In the last video, we have discussed about the basic structure or the basic uh, requirements for writing an English essay. In these lectures, we are talking about writing an English essay, not only for uh, the beginners, but for the people who believes that they are good in writing English, but they fail to qualify the paper of uh, English essay. Therefore, I have streamlined some important points and now I am talking about these points in these three videos. And I, ha I want to say another thing here that many of the aspirants are contacting me and they are saying that we should solve uh, the uh, English papers online essays, at least uh, five essays so that uh, they can make up sense of how a, a paper of essay is solved. If all of you wish the same, I would be requiring your comments in this video or contacting me through social media so that um, I would plan another video uh, other than these three videos where we will discuss some of the uh, past essays and I will try to deliver some important uh, tips and techniques to write up comprehensive English essay. Well, now let's go towards uh, our lectures for today. So today we are going to discuss the theme of English essay, how to select the an essay topic from the list of uh, the given topics and how will you prepare the outline of the essay, what is thesis statement, how we can write a proper thesis statement and how we will introduce our essay, how the body of essay should be uh, written and in the last how we should conclude our essay. Well, first of all, as I was saying that essay is all about flow. Whenever you are saying something, whenever you are telling a story, it should be in a proper flow. In the last video, I have caught it the example of a movie. If you are watching a movie, like let's talk about Game of Thrones. It is a famous season. Many of you have watched that. Or if we talk about the Ertugrul Ghazi, the Turkish drama that is um, being aired uh, nowadays. Now, if you will observe these dramas or the movies, they have a proper flow. The suspense of uh, the viewer always keeps intact and that is the beauty of that serial or that movie. The same thing is there with your English essay. When you have studied, let's take an example of a book. There are many books and you have to select a book. How will you select it? Obviously, you will uh, look towards the topic of the book. After that topic, you will open the first page and there is an index. When you study that index, it is here you decide whether you should proceed reading this book or not. This is the story with your essay. And that index of the book is your outline. Now, if you are watching a movie, you will first go to YouTube and you will watch the trailer of that movie. Now, in the trailer, they have almost, you know, they have mixed all the important events of that movie in a way that they create a kind of interest in you that, oh, I should watch this movie. It, it is not necessarily true that the movie should be as interesting as uh, it looks in the trailer, but trailer should be up to the mark. That is another example of outline. That is what you should precisely do in your essay. If I say that, uh, let's talk about CPEC. <coughs> CPEC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, is an important topic. It has been asked several times, both in English essay, in the paper of current affairs, uh, even in the paper of Pakistan affairs. So you must have a general know-how about this topic. If I say that uh, you should tell me about CPEC, what will you say? You will not say that China got independence in 1949, Pakistan got independence in 1947. No, I don't want that. I know that. What I am asking is about CPEC. So that is the first thing that you should keep in your mind that what is the topic, what examiner is asking from you and why we need to write an introduction. Wherever you will go, you will, uh, you know, uh, see different uh, videos or tutorials or you will go to academies. All of them will say that you should write a proper introduction. The question here is what is the need to write an introduction? The need is, uh, to write an introduction is that whether you comprehended the topic as it was or not whether you understood what examiner was trying to ask or not many of the aspirants fail uh, in the English paper just because they write something which is not asked as I have quoted an example earlier 
so keep in your mind that first and foremost thing is to understand what the examiner is asking and then you will plan how to write down on that uh, topic if you have studied at least for three months or four months i guarantee that that if you have studied for at least three months or four months there would be two three or four topics that uh, whenever you see them you will say that oh i can write on them just three or four months study period but how and uh, up to what extent you can write on that topic it may be maximum of 8 10 or 12 pages that is not enough so what you need to understand here is that you must understand the topic clearly and then you should prepare in your mind how i am going to write in this topic so that i remain in flow i do not add something which is not asked and i do not uh, subtract something which has been asked which was necessary to tell as i have quoted the example of cpec because in this video we are not going into the details or talking about the past papers uh, there will be a separate video where we will discuss some of the past papers and some important essays but here all i am talking about is that uh, whether if you say that okay i am going to select this topic what should be in your mind why would you select that specific topic and how will you proceed further so as over example we have talked about cpec if i ask about cpec you will not tell anything other than cpec and you will not leave any detail about cpec that is the first thing the second important thing is how to introduce your essay let's take uh, our example further as a case study that we are talking about cpec okay now you will introduce that topic uh, in the very first paragraph cpec is a project cpec you will write down the complete name china pakistan economic corridor a usually or commonly known as cpec is a project signed between china and pakistan in the year 2015 in the visit april april 2015 you can uh, add that uh, the visit of uh, xi jinping the prime minister of china in 2015 where they uh, both countries agreed on a bilateral agreement known as cpec now what are you trying to do you are uh, specifying you are telling the examiner that you have understood what he has asked this is all about introduction so keep in your mind why introduction is so important as i was saying earlier introduction is important because it is the trailer of the movie it is uh, uh, you know including all important points of what you are going to tell in your essay many aspirants ask me what is the difference between introduction and conclusion what should be in our mind and i tell them that uh, that the introduction is your pressy while the conclusion is your summary the difference between summary and pressy is the difference between introduction and conclusion you will not uh, you know say anything in your introduction which you are not going to discuss in your essay and if you have forgot something i mean there was an important point you have not mentioned the point in introduction try not to highlight that point in a specific way try to add that thing in a flow so that examiner do not know that this was something that you forgot in your introduction and now you are talking about it so that is about introduction how you will comprehend the topic and how you will introduce it the second important thing is outline in the outline section we have taken the example of the index of the book whenever you read some book and you open the first page and there uh, you and you see that there is a list of topics that the book is going to discuss you will read them one by one and you uh, some, most of the people they do not read the complete book they go directly towards a se separate uh, chapter and they study that chapter that is according to your necessity but that is the same thing that your examiner can do so in your outline every uh, heading that you have proposed is very important we don't know what heading will you know just attract the examiner and he will go directly to that heading and we he, and he will study what you are trying to say and if that heading is not related to what you were previous uh, previously saying or what you have said after it it means that uh, you are the essay is not up to the mark so in your outline the most important thing is the complete theme of essay what you are going to talk about 
give it 30 minutes at least that is uh, my own uh, you know um, practice that I have been doing in all my three terms and that is why uh, that is what I tell my students or different aspirants who contact me give the first good 30 minutes to your outline 30 minutes at 9 a.m. precisely at 9 a.m. sharp your paper of essay will be in front of you so you will write down your outlines in the first 30 minutes because those outlines should be comprehensive go to the last pages of your sheet and give the title of rough pages to the last two pages and then write down the outline I have talked with the examiners and some of them uh, have uh, stated that we go to the last pages um, at first when we, when we are going to check a paper we will check the last pages first because that rough is what is in your mind what is in the mind of the aspirant the first thing that you are going to write is your outline the head uh, the heading of the essay and then the outlines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 or if there are five of the outlines uh, that is totally up to you so in your essay you must keep in your mind that in each heading if there are five headings you must write um, at least uh, one question of 20 marks in that heading if you are giving the 10 headings it means that each heading should contain the material of 10 marks at least that is what you should uh, uh, have in your mind now after the outline out as i have talked about outline outline is just expanding and then it is contracting this is uh, the journey from source to destination this is a journey from your introduction to your conclusion so that flow should be kept in your mind and another important thing uh, i am going to repeat that do not repeat or do not add anything that you have not given in your outline that you have not given in your introduction so now you have uh, written down uh, the outline you have given the introduction now what now you have uh, two hours and 30 minutes to complete your essay two hours or 30 minutes is it's enough time to write 20 25 28 sheets but what is important is your speed and your handwriting so that is the reason uh, all of the mentors all of the your teachers will say that you must uh, write down you have a written practice as much as you can try to write down one paragraph two paragraph three paragraphs on a daily basis with a good speed and maintain your english handwriting and the last important thing is conclusion how you are going to conclude your essay uh, in conclusions most of the uh, aspirants they start giving uh, recommendations or suggestions do not do that a conclusion is a conclusion you are going to conclude your discussion what you have started in your introduction the discussion that you have uh, initiated now you are going to conclude that so it is not for recommendation if you have some recommendation or suggestion in your mind give a separate heading that must be uh, you know before this heading of conclusion so here in conclusion once again you will not write down something new you will not write down something that you don't that you uh, have not discussed earlier in your essay conclusion is not for opening some new sort of discussions conclusion is concluding your discussion so here you need to conclude your essay so now let's take a look at the re most recent uh, paper of english essay in 2020 we will uh, we will not go into the details as i have stated earlier we will just take a glimpse of what uh, type of questions or what type of essays are being asked and how uh, we need to make a strategy to uh, select one of them now the first essay is do we really need literature in our lives that essay is related to the students of english literature uh, let me tell you another thing the essay topics are divided according to the taste of different aspirants if you are a student of english literature you will have a separate essay if you are the student of gender one essay would, uh, would be from gender studies uh, one one essay would be from um, you know education one essay or two or three or four essays would be from the current affairs so this is the theme that they follow in the paper so you have to decide today what you are going to write in your final paper if you want to write down on essay 
uh, on English literature, then only focus on preparing the English literature essay because it will be asked. And the best thing is to prepare the essays of current affairs because current affairs is your paper and uh, there are generally four or five essays asked on the topics of current affairs. So now the first topic is do we really need literature in our lives? You can agree or disagree with this topic but here I want to clarify another thing. If you are going to agree to the topic then you must write in favor of that topic and do not write anything else. Do not write anything about those who do not agree. Give, uh, you, you are just talking about your own uh, thinking, you are just talking about your own ideology. So do not go into the other side of such essays. And if you say that no, we do not need literature in our, our lives, then you must keep that pace uh, and do not talk about the people who agree with this. The second important, the second essay is women universities as agents of change. You see that this is about gender. The people who have gender studies as their subject, one of the essay will be asked from gender studies uh, like that. The third, Pakistan and the future of Kashmir cause. And here we go again into the current affairs. But what he is talking about here? He is not talking about Kashmir issue only. He is not talking about what happened on the 5th of August 2019. He is asking about Pakistan and the future of Kashmir cause. So what is the role of Pakistan in Kashmir cause and what according to you could be the future of this cause? What is happening now? It is present. What happened uh, between 1947 and 2020 is past. Now examiner wants to know what would be the future of Kashmir issue and how it is interrelated with Pakistan. So keep that in mind. So that is what I was talking earlier that how you are going to comprehend the topic of essay, how you are going to translate it, how you are going to comprehend and then select the topic. The fourth, polarized politics, the issues and challenges of democracy in Pakistan. So polarized politics mean North Pole and South Pole, they are opposites. So now you have to uh, left wing or right wing, Islamist or uh, liberals. These are the two poles, the polarized politics and the future of democracy. Global power dynamics and Pakistan's foreign policy. This is the topic that I selected in uh, the paper of 2020. A very versatile topic. You can write anything in that topic, but uh, you must keep in your mind that it is uh, uh, talking about the power dynamics. The power dynamics all around the world. How the power dynamics is changing. What are the structures of power? where the power resides and it is not only about Pakistan, it is about all around the world. Whether Pentagon is more strong than the US administration, whether Mossad is more strong than the administration of Benjamin Netanyahu and all around the world. He is talking about power dynamics. Power dynamics means the role of the government, governments all around the world, the, go the role of uh, the IGOs, NGOs, the multi and multinational corporation, the role of military and especially the proxies all of that is the agents of power uh, what is the global power dynamics and pakistan foreign policy now here you have to talk about uh, pakistan foreign policy in detail the next thing is pakistan's informal economy the way forward any of the aspirants chose this essay and they just talk about economy no he's not talking about economy he is talking about the informal economy so here you will only talk about the informal economy promoting tourism in Pakistan opportunities and challenges only opportunities and challenges in opportunities you will discuss different locations in Pakistan not only in northern areas but in other areas as well they are the opportunities uh, the private investments uh, foreign direct investments all of that and challenges what are the challenges that we are facing today and what are the challenges that we can face in the future I do not agree with what you have to say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. That is about freedom of expression. Now if you agree with this statement, you will go in favor of that. And obviously you will agree. No one will say that no, I do not like freedom of expression, but there is a limit on the freedom of expression. 
so some people can say that no i will no uh, i will not go to whatever you say if you are saying right then i will stand with you and if you are saying wrong then i will not be with you so that is the other side of this essay is pakistan ready for digital revolution your own opinion if you think that pakistan is ready for uh, digital revolution then you will write in favor of this topic and if you say that no uh, we are not ready for digital uh, revolution yet then you will write down about um, uh, the hurdles why we are not ready for a digital revolution and if we are how we are imf bail outs roads to stability or recipes for disaster <coughs> same thing this is the argumentative essay as the first one and the second last one here you will agree with this or you will disagree with this keeping in view the references the proper references in your mind so this was our lecture for today and we have discussed uh, the strategies to select an essay from the topics and we have discussed how uh, will we uh, you know give the outline of the essay how will we uh, select the uh, you know give the outlines introduction and how we are going to conclude our essay in the next topic we will discuss uh, the decorations of your essay how to make it more attractive how to make it more comprehensive more precise if you have not subscribed to the channel i would say that you must subscribe and uh, please press the bell icon so you must be aware whenever the lecture is uploaded thank you very much stay blessed allah hafiz